I've had a couple chances now to hang out with the incredibly talented LP. I love her so much. I was so happy to catch up with her again this past Lollapalooza. Uh, the first time we met was at the Grammy Museum, and it was lovely and air-conditioned. This time, though, was a little bit different as it was hot as hell in Chicago. I sat there sweating with her, and I just couldn't help but thinking how talented she is. She writes and sings her own songs, and she also writes hit songs for other people. She co-wrote Cheers with Rihanna, as well as Beautiful People, performed by Christine Aguilera, who was in that movie Burlesque. She also co-wrote Afraid to Sleep, performed by Vicky Martinez of The Voice, and it hit top 10 on the iTunes charts. And then there are some songs she just has to keep to herself. Probably the most well-known one is Into the Wild, as it was featured on a Citibank commercial. Here's my interview with LP. My girl LP, hello! How's it going? It's going good. You having fun? Yeah, man. It's hot, though. It's hot as balls. I know. <laughs> so how have you been since we last hung out? Been What's good, been new? Man. Uh, I've just been like touring a lot and like uh, writing some more and recording some stuff and releasing a single and yeah? stuff like that. Yeah, it's been good. Uh, what's it like to be at Lollapalooza? Uh, it's pretty amazing. I mean, you know, uh, Lollapalooza is legendary and uh, I'm excited to be part of it. So you've written for a lot of different artists. What was it like to see one of your songs being performed on stage? Um, I went to see Rihanna in, um, during Christmas, her last show of the Loud Tour, and uh, I got to see her perform um, Cheers, which is awesome. And I, I heard that every night she comes out, she has a shot. Nice. She's like, you can always tell when she's gonna do the song, and she comes out with this like <laughs> one shot, and uh, and that was really cool. And I, you know, it was like I don't know how many thousands of people there, at least like you know maybe ten thousand people, and it was just really amazing to hear 10,000 people singing a song, like words that I wrote, I, I've never heard that, you know, I've obviously, you know, I've never played for 10,000 people, so it was really, really cool, and it's nice to see something just come all the way. It's, it's kind of rare, I guess. You know? Yeah, but that's kind of an out-of-body experience, too. It is, it's weird. I, I mean, I always like marveled at the whole, like, something from nothing kind of aspect of songs, but, you know, it was kind of life-changing. Do you ever change the way things go in your mind? Like you write about something that happened in your life and then you're like, damn, I wish it had gone another way and then use your music as an escape? I mean, I definitely like write the way I wish things were sometimes, for sure. But I think my better songs come out about the way things are. <laughs> yeah. The way they really are. Who really inspires you? I think um, a lot of artists of the past have inspired me. I, I'm really inspired by a lot of like 60s and 70s artists because I feel like especially in the 60s like no one was trying to be what like like Keith Richards didn't really have a Keith Richards to like emulate. emulate I mean you know obviously Chuck Berry was someone that he emulated or thought he emulated but there was no like there was no blueprint for that I feel like there were a lot of real original characters from them because it was just like the beginning and people weren't like trying to be that person you know and and, and there was more room for originality and I think I think that happens now too, of course, you know, and it, but it's just like it's narrowed down. There's, there's like harder and harder ways to be original or, you know, that's what I was saying, just like to be yourself. I mean, it's probably easiest just to be exactly how, like, I feel like I look pretty much on the outside how I feel on the inside. <laughs> People be like, like a crazed lunatic? <laughs> yes. Yes, like a crazed lunatic. Thank you for hanging out. My favorite, yeah. yay, LP. Check her out if she's playing in a town near you. Yeah. I highly recommend it. She puts on a rad performance. That's a pretty cool chick. Yeah. Thanks. Happy Lollapalooza. Thank you, happy Lollapalooza to you. <laughs> she is so super cool, I'm a huge fan. Uh, later that night she performed in Chicago and apparently Florence and the Machine showed up. Rumor has it the two are gonna go into the studio together soon. Who's excited? LP is busy right now working on her album, touring, and playing ukulele sessions, which can be found online every so often when she posts one up. This concludes our Lot of Lala Love session with LP. Thanks for watching, guys. I'm Erin Lucas. We'll see you next time.